Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I have some fall DIYs to show you. So first I'm going to start off with this frame I had. It's a canvas frame. And I'm going to use some of the paint mixing sticks from Home Depot. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue these across the top, across the whole frame. Okay, so after I do that, I'm going to go ahead and use this home decor wax. It's antique. The, the, the color is antique wax. I'm guessing that's the color, but it's by Folk Art. And so I'm going to use this to stain this because I don't have any stain. So I'm going to just use this to give it a stained look. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm just going to use uh, my foam brush. I don't really care for the Dollar Tree ones. I like to get mine from AC Moore. You get a pack of 20 for $4.99. And of course, I use a coupon. So check that out too because the Dollar Tree ones, they start to rip easy. So after you get done, this is what your board will look like. This is going to be the bottom of my board where the holes are at from the, the paint mixing sticks. And I added nails into mine just so it can hold better. That's up to you if you want to do it. So next I'm going to take this stencil I made. I made a stencil using my Cricut machine. And it's going to say, Hello Fall. So I'm going to take some of this white, no, ivory, Waverly chalk paint, and I'm going to use as little as I can. I'm going to hold this stencil down, and I'm going to dab it on here while moving my hands, and I'm going up and down the stencil making sure I get in every spot really good and be careful not to get paint onto your board Be careful not to move your stencil because I just moved mine. And I'm only going to do one coat because I want mine to be more distressed looking and light. And that's how it's going to look. And it says, hello. And now I'm going to do my fall one, my fall part. I'm going to say, I'm going to move it about right here. Yeah, about right there. And I'm just going to do the same thing I did. Dab up and down. And 
dabbing some of the paint off of my brush. And there you go. It says, hello fall. So now I'm going to take a piece of this lace from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to shrink it through. I'm going to start under. I'm going to go under. Well, the first one. You want to find the first one. And I'm going to just go under. And then I'm going to go back in. And I'm going to just keep repeating it going in and out, in and out. Inside. So after you lace that through, I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to cut, cut, take my glue gun. Pull, put some glue into a spot where so I can pull it and it's going to stay tight. I'm going to add a little bit more glue on it. And then I'm going to do the same over here. Find the spot, add glue, and it should stay. Then I'm going to flip it back over. And I'm going to take some leaves from the Dollar Tree that I already cut off and a bag of these pine cones and cotton tips, cotton flower things. And I'm going to glue these. I'm going to use these two to glue it on. To, I mean, to add to this. So I'm going to go here and lay this out and show you. So this is kind of sort of how we're placing it. I'm still thinking, should I? Why do I want to add more leaves over this way? So this is kind of how I'm going to glue everything down. So this is how the sign turned out. I think it's really cute. I don't think I know if I should add another leaf down here. It looks kind of weird. But um, now I'm going to flip this over. And I'm going to take some of this jute string just in case I want to hang it. You can hang it up. You can, like I said, you can hang it on your front door. Or you can um, have it sitting somewhere. So instead of my glue gun, I'm going to just go ahead and take my thing my um I can't think of the name of this oh my goodness staple gun and I'm gonna staple this down I ran out of staples, but I'm gonna stay. So after I get the string staple down, 
here it is and I will show you it hanging out like I said you can hang it or and hide the string or you can hang it out you can hang it with the string or hide the string and prop it up on something so I'm sure you have so for the next DIY I'm gonna take two of these Dollar Tree pumpkins they come with these little metal leaves on them but I don't I'm not gonna use I don't even know what the other one is that goes on here but I'm gonna try to make them look like fabric pumpkins so I'm going to take some of that Dollar Tree burlap. This is the darker one. I don't know if you ever noticed the difference. It's nine feet. And I'm just going to roll it off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start up here. And I'm going to hold the um, burlap up here. And I'm going to be tucking it inside of here. So I'm going to go and I'm going to see how much it's going to take for me to tuck. And I'm going to tuck this inside of here. And then I'm going to pull it out. And where I made that tuck, I'm going to cut a little underneath it. And that way I don't know how long I'll need my fabric to be. So I'm going to cut a bunch of these. Okay, so next I am going to start to glue my things in. I'm going to put a little bit of glue just right here on the one that I'm going to tuck in side of here as I get that side of there I'm going to fold it up and that's all I'm gonna do and I'm gonna continue to do that around and you want to have enough I'm gonna show you what you want to do after that Same thing again. I'm going to put the tags on the inside. And I'm going to put this in the inside. Tuck it. Then I am going to pull it over on the other one I just did. And then that one will be like that you see that so i'm gonna continue to do that all the way all right so next we're gonna be pulling all i used eight yeah i used eight and i'm gonna pull it up like this so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take a bunch one piece i said a bunch and you're going to line it up next to that because you don't want none of the other ones showing. And you're going to pull it up really tight. And it's going to be like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my glue gun and put some glue right just at the top. I'm going to take, make sure it's lined up again. Take and bunch it up. And at one little spot. And hold it. And I'm going to put a little bit more glue right here. And then I'm going to go around. I'm going to show you again. Take and pull this up. Make sure it's covering that side. It's going to be bunched up up there. So I'm going to put some glue right here. And pull it back up. And that's all I'm going to do. And I'm going to continue to do that around the pumpkin. Okay, so next you want to trim this down just a little bit. Then we're going to take some of the jute twine from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to put, I'm just not, I'm just going to wrap it over top of itself. And just continue to wrap it around the top part of this.
And I'm gonna cut. Glue that last piece down. And then trim this up some. Not completely covered, cut it off. I'm just gonna trim it up some. That's what it looked like so far. That's the bottom. So next I took two leaves off of my Dollar Tree leaves and I glued them together like this. I'm going to take a little bit of glue, put it right here, and I'm going to lay the leaves down. Then I'm going to take some glue and put a teeny bit on the tip of the leaf and then a little bit on this one and there you are a little pumpkin so here's how it all turned out here goes your hello full sun then your pumpkins now this pumpkin I did using the same way, but I used the lace burlap from the Dollar Tree. And I just didn't add any leaves to this one. So, there you are. So, if you like these two fall DIYs, let me know below. And I will also be doing more fall DIYs. If you got anything that you might want me to make or would like to give me some ideas, make sure you leave it down below. Let me know which one of these you like. And that's it. That's all. And bye.